Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in Kansas with a frauditor family and their channel that goes by the name of Global Jesus. Now, apparently, the uh, son decided to go take his mama's car to the store, and it had a, ta a tail light or something like that that was out. And, uh, well, uh, the police tried to uh, stop him, and he apparently ran to the house where the uh, frauditor mother, well, decided to interfere with the stop, and, well, both of them got arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Two people in jail for stupid. Bogus stop to begin with. The tag light was not out. Don't reach for anything. Do I'm not, not reach for I'm, anything. You want me to get... Get back in the vehicle. Why? Because I'm stopping you. You are on a traffic stop. Okay. Then can we do it outside the car? You guys ask hey. people out of the car all the time. Hey. Can you go back inside, ma'am? No, you don't have to go back inside. This is your house. You do this what you want. This is my house. This is, I don't the, care. She pulled me over a tag light, I guess. But I locked I mean, myself out of the car. She wants me to get back in the car, but I locked myself out of the car. Um, There's no reason for the tag light being out. That's like saying there's no reason for a flat tire. There's no reason why you have a blown head gasket. Things happen. Things fall apart. Things need to be replaced. And apparently... That light needs to be replaced as well, you dumbass. Because, well, like I said, things break down. Okay, ma'am, you need to go back inside before I uh, arrest you for interference. The same with you. You need to get back in the vehicle. No, he's not. You he's call your next. supervisor, please. I want to speak to your... Come here. There is two of us. Come here. There is There's... no supervisor on duty right now. Okay. Then you guys have the time. Give me the ticket then for the, the fixer ticket then. Whatever it is. Give me your driver's license and proof of insurance. It's inside and you have to get the key to get in the car. Okay, well I need a key to get into the car. You ain't getting my car. <laughs> Ma'am, you're going to go to jail for interference. You better quit threatening that. We're, I don't we're care. Not I'm doing not threatening. Anything. I'm telling. It's not a threat. It's not an interference. You yes, better stop is. yelling at me. You're a public servant. What are you talking care. about? Why are you getting upset? I don't care. Hey, Nimrod. Uh, did you realize that a uh, public servant doesn't mean that they should bow down and kiss your ass? It means they serve the public as a general, not the individual, you dummy. And just because they are public servants doesn't mean that you have the ability or the authority to boss them around. Nope, that doesn't mean that at all. They're not your personal slaves. Give me your driver's it's a tag license light. Proof of I don't have it on me. Okay, then. I cut my name out right here. That's it. Do you even have a valid license? Yeah. Why would she ask that? Uh, why would she ask that? Dude, it's part of her job. And considering that there are sovereign citizens out there who obviously don't have driver's licenses out there. Of course she's going to ask that question. It's not a stupid question or anything like that. How do you not have a key to get into your car? Because I just locked it in Why there. Why would she ask that? Getting out. I thought I had a good hand. Ask stupid questions, get stupid prizes. Dude, uh, she's been asking some perfectly legitimate questions. There's nothing inherently stupid about them. It's just that... Your brain is too bogged down with sovereign citizen and frauditor garbage that you th only think it's stupid because you think knowledge is insanely stupid. Yeah. Can you stop? Can you stop? I'm not. I have no harm for you. I have you one have a knife. knife on you. That's it. You cannot disarm me. Yes, I can. You cannot yes, disarm I me. Okay. You're. We're done doing this. What are you doing? You're Let me go and I'll be cooperative. No, you're going you in cuffs. You can take the, hand, take the knife off me. Here you go. You can't go reaching for people and take and put them in cuffs like this, man. I don't know what you're doing. You know. He didn't do anything wrong. I'm done arguing with all of you guys. Well, you shouldn't have came up. The tag light ain't you out. You shouldn't have ran from me. I didn't run from you. Go. Go. What am I doing? What are you doing? 
paper right here that I got in this. Pushing me around. Okay, then ask me. Don't tell me I can't read your mind. I have one more knife on me, okay? You, no, no, don't you, don't you dare don't get handled. Don't tell me what to do. You understand? You are not in charge here. She didn't do anything. I'm just asking not to manhandle her. You need to go back there. Do you understand? Right now, you are interfering. I need you to back on up out of this area. Don't touch me. You need to back up out of this area. You need to back up. That's my husband. You better watch out. And that's fine. I need you to back up and go stand by your husband. I'm standing right here. And I hope you know I recorded you. Okay, that's fine. Why are you searching me? You don't consent to searches or seizures, dude. Uh, yeah, uh, you played F around and find out. You got arrested or detained or whatever. And, uh, well, yeah, that pretty much goes out the window. That uh, So you don't have to consent to a search or seizure when you are detained or arrested because, well... They need to know what you have for the property inventory at the very least when they release you. I'm not under arrest. You're being but you can't property. search me until I'm under arrest. Under I'm not, no I'm not. The ticket, the warning that I got about my uh, light being out on my freaking tag. I have gotten something before and it's not legal. You cannot give him that for that. You're not I'm not, I'm done arguing with you. I'm not going to argue with you. You can go inside, you can go back up on your porch. You should be in, uh, arrested for interference for what you're doing. But I'm being nice. You should. Oh, right. You guys are doing my bro. You guys don't have any clue what you're doing, do you? Oh, are you an armchair police officer? Because if you are, then why don't you get up off your armchair and uh, tell them how they're doing their jobs wrong, if you can. But, you know, I have a suspicion, just like every other fraudster out there, you have no idea what you're talking about either. Well, right now we are detaining somebody that was fleeing. No, he was not fleeing. He was coming back to the house. Um, that's some interesting logic right there. So he wasn't fleeing the police even though the lights were on behind him all the way there. He was just coming back to the house. Okay, then. Thank you for standing back by your husband like I requested. Oh, just hush. Just hush? So why don't you tell me your side of the story? What happened? I'd love to know. Uh, excuse me, but you're in my bubble, I, buddy. Okay, I'm in your bubble. Well, I appreciate you standing by your husband. So, why don't you tell me when you're side of the story? What happened? Uh, I got a knock on my door. It was my son because he was bringing my car back to me. And she's down here yelling and screaming at him. Mm -hmm. Because of a stupid light that's out. I have gotten a ticket before for that, and it's not illegal to have one oh, light. Oh, so you, you know about that. So he was driving it illegally. right here. Okay, I'm glad he was driving it illegally. Thank you for admitting to that. He has a light right here. I have a light right here, and it shines on my tag. Hmm. Hey, partner, was his light out? Yeah. No, it's right. not. No, I just no, drove this. You need to go inside, or you're going to a jail for interference. Because... Here is the, the ticket that I had gotten before, mm -hmm. and the officer let, just gave me a warning, and he said it was okay because I had the other one. This one was out, and this one's lit up, well, so it still lights great. up We're my car. We're not going to have court here at night. Sir, so. do you mind taking her inside, please? Well, I'm trying to figure... So, okay, I'll explain it to you. The reason why I stopped him is because but he's I missing a tag light, and that one's exposed, okay? That's the reason why I stopped him, and then when I activated my lights, he ran from me and pulled in here and tried to get out and go inside, and that's not how you do it i was conducting a traffic stop he needs to cooperate but it's not illegal to have just one light i'm not going to argue with you on that i can prove it to you okay then you can prove that in court you can go inside now i'm not sure if that light's even worked for years well and this know. light is not missing it's right there well okay can you please go inside i'm not leaving my driveway Okay, like I said, you can either go inside or you're going to go to jail for interference. Sir, you seem very cooperative throughout this. You've been the one that's not arguing with me. Can you talk her into going inside? 
before she goes to jail. Well, where's your phone? In the house somewhere. Probably charging. No, I need to call my mother. What's wrong with this one? Because I'm recording her. Oh. Okay, you so, need to go inside because the vehicle is going to be searched. So no, it's Why not. Is it yes, it is. No, it's like not. Weed. You're not searching my car in my property. I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to give you one more warning before I put you in cuffs too when you go to jail for interference. Well, you can't get in my car. It's locked. I have the keys right here. It's an illegal search. That's not an illegal well, search. Well, it's showing he has an ID only, so he was driving illegally anyway. Okay. Oh, now the plot thickens. That explains why he ran away to begin with, because he didn't have a driver's license. All he had was a regular state-issued ID. That is not, not a driver's license. But let's continue on and see what her excuse for this is. So, so, I'm, so I'm he was already you. violating the law by driving. Period. All he did was run to the gas station and oh, come so back. Oh, thank you for admitting he was driving illegally. I appreciate that. Ma'am, you go inside or you're going to jail for interference. Last time. Though, so, I mean, he does not have a, okay. a restricted... Uh, go does, ahead and turn around. No, no. Yep, we're not going to do Troy! this. Troy! He's got my phone. He just lost it. You got it? Wait a minute. Just let go. Okay, I'm going to no, go in. No, no, you got it? Too late. We're I'm done. going in. We're done. Sounded to me like you were stumbling over your words just then, as if you couldn't come up with an excuse to validate the rationale behind your son not having a driver's license while going to the store. I mean, dude, you've got to have a driver's license when you operate a motor vehicle on the public roadways in every freaking state. Date. So now uh, your son is paying a price for his own stupidity, and now you're paying the price for your stupidity. Congratulations. You are a lead paint chip eating moron. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?